the case made against net neutrality largely revolves uh, around some very old recycled talking points and some discredited myths that we and others long ago debunked. Yes, it is a little frustrating for us to have to debunk the same old myths over and over again, but I think over time the FCC and other policymakers here in D.C. are slowly starting to see through industry's uh, campaign of uh, disinformation and fear. Now this charge resonates well in D.C. because policymakers have been conditioned through the years to have a belief that any and all consumer protections will harm the bottom line of the companies who are subjected to those protections. But the truth is, is that firms' investment decisions are very complex and that they are driven by a whole host of factors. Competition is among the, the most important factors and certainly not regulation. Uh, the simple fact is, in this case, is that the phone and cable companies have failed to make uh, a convincing argument as to why net neutrality will, uh, will hurt their, uh, their revenues or why keeping the Internet open would make their already immensely profitable businesses less profitable. But we here at Free Press have analyzed the likely business models that the ISPs might explore in a world without net neutrality. And we believe that the true motive behind uh, their opposition to net neutrality is not necessarily the desire to earn new revenues from third parties, but their desire to protect their legacy voice and video services from the threats that uh, the Internet can bring in the form of competition that they've never faced before. Uh, the ISP's arguments about investment are very hollow, and to see this, all you have to do is reason it out loud. They want to be able to charge content providers to access a fast lane to their end users and say that this new revenue will be used to build out bigger and faster networks. But no content provider is actually going to be willing to pay for this specialized treatment unless congestion is the normal state of affairs on the Internet. Thus, ISPs absolutely won't have any incentive to invest uh, further in a world without net network neutrality because investment means getting rid of congestion, which in turn undermines their entire discriminatory business model. The bottom line is that abandoning network neutrality would actually encourage ISPs to reduce investment in their networks, and it would give them free reign to use their market power that they have currently in the network market and extend that power into the content and applications markets, uh, and that will result in reduced competition and reduced investment in those markets. It's not a recipe for uh, economic growth at a time when we need economic